Okay, so let's take a look at the answers to the poll. I'm guessing that most of you said Jack was an engineer. Now, why did you say that? When I ask my students this question, they tell me they said Jack was an engineer because he sounded like an engineer. They often point out that Jack has no interest in political and social issues and that he likes home carpentry and mathematical puzzles. What my students are telling me is that Jack sounds like their prototype of an engineer. He seems to have the same features as their prototype, so they categorise him as an engineer. Is that what you thought too? Well, what is Jack? Perhaps if I ask the question slightly differently. Imagine that we put all of the party goers into a giant bag so that we've got 30 engineers and 70 lawyers all jumbled up in a big bag and I reach in and carefully grab one of them. Is it more likely that I've grabbed an engineer or a lawyer? Hopefully you can see that it is more than twice as likely that I've grabbed a lawyer. There are 70 of them compared to 30 engineers. When I ask the question this way, it is easier to see the relevance of the frequency information that I started the example with. This version of the problem frames the question in terms of the probability that Jack is a lawyer or an engineer based on the numbers of each of them at the party. On the other hand, when I describe Jack to you in great detail, the probability estimate is based on the match between Jack's features and your prototype for each category because those features seem like useful information. Unfortunately, this means we do not pay sufficient attention to the frequencies of lawyers and engineers present at the party. This is the representativeness heuristic.